In today's video, we will be covering one of the most challenging concepts in the teachings of Neville Goodard. The art of manifesting requires that you live in the end. Just hear what Neville has to say in this quote. But I'll tell you one thing, do not concern yourself with the means, always go to the end. Dwell in the end and you will hurt no one. But if you try to devise the means, you are, well, messing the whole thing up. Neville Goodard, live in the end, is a powerful and effective way of manifesting. Far more powerful than the act as if method taunted by many law of attraction teachers. When you are living in the end, you are literally embodying the state of someone who has already manifested their desire, even though it has not yet appeared in 3D reality. Living in the end simply means living as if your desire is already here. What would you do? How would you think and behave if today the manifestation you desire was already a present fact? To the awakened individual, the fourth dimensional thinker, there is no lack. What you seek is already yours, and to see it manifested, you merely have to occupy the matching state. There is no future we are going to have results. The desire is no longer there as you already possess what you are seeking. Neville Goodard, The Sabbath So as we have covered in many of our previous videos, methods to employ, you can imagine a state, a desire, and in a simple and effective way, you can create that wonderful inner feeling of already possessing your wish. If you're not sure, then get our superb ebook, Mastering the State Akin to Sleep. But once you've reached the state, how do you maintain that feeling of living in the end when your five senses are telling you the complete opposite that you don't have what you desire? How does one persist in the assumption of, in other words, live in the end? Here is a simple yet effective quote I repeat to myself daily to shift me back to that state. If you think of your desire during the day, give thanks it's already a fact because it is. Neville Goodard. If you truly believe in your imagination, this can be very effective because the power that you are already giving thanks to is the divine creator of the universe, who, as we know, is all powerful. Speaking of Thanksgiving, if your manifestation happened today, wouldn't you be super appreciative? Wouldn't you be grateful? Yes, well, I know I would, which is why I employ a very simple ritual every morning. I start the day with a 10 minute gratitude meditation. It's something I have done for years, but here's the unique twist as I go through the list of things I'm grateful for, such as health and material possessions. Guess what's last on my list? Yep, you've guessed it. I give gratitude for that thing, that wish I desire. I give thanks for already receiving it, even though at this moment, it doesn't exist in my objective world. This is extremely powerful and shifts you to that state. An example of living in the end. There is a subtle yet powerful difference between working towards a result and thinking and feeling from it. When we work towards a goal, we embark upon an open-ended and never-ending journey. While we may create milestones and set targets to get us closer to our accomplishment, in our minds we are always on our way to the objective, rather than in the experience of accomplishing it. Now you see how the two states don't quite match up to your desire when we think like this. We must be bold and confident knowing that we already possess what we desire and every action that we have to take is merely part of the bridge of incidences needed to bring it into 3D reality. This is regardless of how it may be perceived. Neville's methods are truly profound and perhaps it's one of his many case stories that really illustrate how to live in the end. Here is the synopsis. Neville and his wife are looking for an apartment to rent. They have determined to spend a specific budget. This Neville committed to spend in his imagination also. However, after weeks of searching, when they finally found the apartment, they desired that the rent was actually more than the budget they had agreed upon. Despite this clear negation of his assumption, he paid the two months rent in advance and moved in. Neville even had to endure the derision of his wife who said, well, that's not demonstrating this principle, is it? Despite all the obvious facts he considered to live in his imagination, he continued to live in the end. The outcome is even more fascinating and really illustrates the power of this principle because in the third month of his tenancy, 
Through a series of highly improbable events, the landlord was forced to reduce the rent to the exact dollar Neville had imagined and also refund the two previous months overcharge. In Neville's own words, then he quoted the new rent figure to me, which was the dollar amount I had originally chosen to pay. It took me three months of being faithful to what I had imagined I was paying, even though during that time I was paying more. Neville Goodard, Parabolic Revelation. This is a very powerful example of persisting living in the end, despite the contradicting evidence of his senses. So another question people ask is, I am living in the end, but when will it manifest? Going back to our previous story, the logical thinking man would probably have given up the point of when he had to pay the rent. But we have been told time and time again that every imaginal act has its own appointed time to manifest. All we need to do is persist and live each day as if it's already ours. Also, in our article, Six Questions You Must Never Ask, I discussed the self-sabotaging questions that shift us from the state of the wish fulfilled to the one of anxiety and worry. I call these questions miracle killers because they shift you to a state that denies your manifestation. You are instructed time and time again to trust, have faith in the process that as you live in the end, what you once had as a desire will objectify in perfect timing. In our 21st century world of microchips and nanotechnology, it's no wonder when we hear that manipulating this material world is all done in consciousness and that all we need to do is assume a feeling and live in the end. It seems too simple to be true, but don't be suspicious of Neville's words. You can call a state into being by assuming you are it, and if you believe you have received your desire, you will for belief will lead the way to its fulfillment. Perception, Neville Goodard. Live nobly, live in the end. If you want to master the art of living in the end, you can access our superb online courses and coach and support over at our online academy. The link of the academy will be in the comment section below. Please check out our popular online course, Manifesting Master Key. A link to this course can also be found in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Once again, if you liked this video, please hit the like button and remember to turn on your bell notifications.